people, my beautiful patriots. We win in the day, y'all. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Breaking news. We still ain't got everything dismissed and 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 and, and big fanny removed. It's okay though. Let me hit my siren, y'all. Hey man, um, thank y'all for all the love and support. And um, by the end of end of this month, we are going to be sending out some mega hats to a lot of beautiful patriots, man. Um, I seen in the comments that some of you uh, want one actually. And um, again, at first I kind of took it as a joke, but again, I was like, no, nah, they people really want one. They, they don't have one or want a new one because I know most of y'all say y'all was from twenty twenty, so. We're going to be sending out some um, by the end of this month. I want to bless you guys because I received my hats from the beautiful Jennifer on my OK Rick channel. And if you follow me on OK Rick, that's where I do all the music reactions and other fun stuff like that that, that I do because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a reactor. You know what I'm saying? You know, we learn on the fly. You know, we check out new things every single day. But I received all these hats in the mail from the beautiful Jennifer, which was a blessing and a gift. So we're going to be blessing some amazing family members are part of the channel, the OK Life family. If you're not part of it, hit that subscribe button, man. We just surpassed 40,000 beautiful family members around the world, man. That's such a blessing. And hey, we winning, y'all. We winning. <sighs> not everything got, you know, not, they didn't dump the whole thing and Big Fanny didn't get removed yet. I know, I know that's what y'all was, we was all hoping for, you know, <laughs> but hey, we got to start somewhere, huh? We got to start somewhere. So we got an amazing video from Doug and y'all know we love Doug, always keeping us informed. The original link be in the description box down below. Y'all go show Doug some love. Um, and some of y'all that that been watching Doug's channel for quite a while has come over here and we all know he makes some of the best content on the platform. But let me read some of these comments. Fanny Willis and Wade need to be charged with Rico Act themselves. <laughs> we are indeed happy patriots. The best is yet to come. This is just an appetizer. Yes, indeed it is. Trump 2024. That's my president. Whoop, 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 whoop. This is great news. The judge threw table scraps to the dogs. Is all he did. Mm. If one is dismissed, they all should be. Good morning to all the beautiful people around the world. Yes, indeed, man. My beautiful patriots, my kind, loving, genuine patriots. I hope everybody is, again, doing well. That 2024 is treating you well. That March is an amazing month for you, for your kids, your family members, your loved ones. Again, spread that love, man. God is love, y'all. And you never know what somebody is going through, especially in 2024. It's getting crazier out here. More People are more depressed than ever. Suicidal rates are up. You know, people are having going through hard times, man. And and life ain't getting easy for, quite frankly, a, a lot of us. So please spread that love to one another. I love you guys, man. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. And again, we will be giving out some mega hats to probably over 50 of you guys. You know, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna just try to give as many as I can out. Um, you can reach out to me with your your PO box or address, and we'll figure out how we're gonna send them out. And um, I'm going to just be a blessing to you guys, anybody that wants one. If you want one. You don't need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, we gonna, hey, we winning, baby. We are winning. So let's check out this video from my brother, Doug. Let's see what's cracking. This is only good news. Some of the charges have been dropped against Trump in the Fannie Willis case. Six charges. We'll go through all of them really quick in this article from the AP. There is not a lot of information outside of that, but there are a few weird details. So, welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug yeah, Tenney. And I seen a few of them, especially the one when Benny uh, reposted it uh, this morning. Let me see, let me see. Let me turn my, I know I'm huge on the screen, my bad, y'all. I'm on my nail like, damn, big ass head. <laughs> big ass head, man, she big ass head off the screen, shit. Well, this is where the happy patriots <clears throat> hang out and find out about Trump's destiny as the Democrats try to take him out using lawfare, using these crummy, illegitimate legal cases, trying to get his name off the ballot and affect an election. 
Here's the we sick of all this corruptness, man. We sick of it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. AP, that's the Associated Press. Headline Judge oversees Georgia election interference case dismisses some charges against Trump. This is from just this morning. The judge overseeing the Georgia election interference case on Wednesday dismissed some of the charges against former President Donald Trump, but many of the other counts in the indictment remain. Fulton County Superior Judge Scott McAfee wrote in an order that six of the counts of the indictment must be quashed, including three against Trump, the pre uh, presumptive 2024 Republican presidential nominee. What's important is that uh, some of the of the charges still stick. Uh, and this also has nothing to do with if they end up dismissing the entire case. That can still happen. Same judge. He can still say, look, we're dismissing the entire case. Uh, but the order leaves intact other charges. And the judge wrote prosecutors could seek a new indictment in the charges he dismissed. Now, they'll find some desperate Democrat to come back in and relist these charges under something probably more legitimate grounds than the scam they initially tried. That's or they'll, you'll find out that it's just box office poison. If um, if no one takes them up, then you know that this case is dead. I, I assume no one will take them back up, but you never know. The six charges in question have to do with soliciting elected officials to violate their oaths of office. That includes two charges related to the phone call Trump made to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, a fellow Republican in January of 2021. This was the big news item is that remember, this was all the information that was leaked about Trump, the call that was uh, illegally recorded and released of him telling Raffensperger, when you got to find me 11,780 votes. And they're saying that Trump was implying that he wanted them to invent the votes. And Trump said, no, no, I'm, I just want you to go and find them because they're out there. Here, oh, yeah, here's the exact quote. Quote, all I want to do is this. I just want to find 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, which is more than which is one more than we have, Trump said. The case accuses Trump and 18 others of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election loss in the state to Democrat Joe Biden, Trump has pled not guilty because he's not guilty. The ruling comes as McAfee is also considering a bid by defendants to have Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis removed from the case. Defendants have alleged that Willis has a conflict of interest because of her romantic relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. And that's all the AP gives us this morning. That's all that the judge released. Her. So I'm giving you very little commentary on this because there really isn't a lot more details than that. So this case just instantly got better for Trump. So six of the charges dropped. Y'all ready to dance? <laughs> Send her out the door, what a lover. Send her out the door, what a lover. Tell her to grab her wig out on the way. We're going to get it. We're going to crank this, this Ford truck up and we're going to ride it. We're going to ride it. And, and hell, if it needs a new alternator, we're going to take it up the street to Enrique. He's going to throw one in for about $20. Brand new. We're going to ride this truck down the freeway, baby. Let's go, Patriots. Just by the judge saying, nope, these for sure aren't going to happen. <clears throat> that helps Trump out a lot already. So it's good news. It doesn't mean that he's out of the forest on this one yet. We'll still have more to announce uh, as McAfee mulls over this whole case this week. But let me know what you think below. Will Trump be on the ballot? And if he's on the ballot, does he win? Tell me in the comments below. I'm Doug in, in exile. exile. Yeah, salute to my brother Doug, man. Yes, indeed, baby. Let's see what my patrons talking about in the comments, man. Y'all already know what we're getting down to. But hey, you know, and I, I'm going to read this comment right here. This judge makes me nervous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of us is nervous. Yeah, we all been sweating and, 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 you know, wiping our face, you know. Some of us got allergies and it makes it even worse, you know. Y'all, y'all come, them allergies been killing, huh? Man, I tell y'all, I walked outside and fell the hell down, y'all. Them allergies, boy, be, like, like, come on down, come on, give me a break. Them allergies, man, I tell y'all, but anyways. I think McAfee's a coward. Oh, man. Oh, 
uh, 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 you know, I got to watch, watch my language on here. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, I think he'll do whatever he's in his best interest. Just my opinion. It's only six charges that can be dismissed or recharged with clarity. Not a huge deal. What's scary will tell them they need to go back to the grand jury and clarify these charges if he plans to dismiss Fanny from the case. I think this is a bad sign. He'll be on the ballot and will be victorious once again. Again, this makes me somewhat happy. Will this way James and Brad should be should be prison, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wait, oh yeah. Not far enough. McAfee fell short. The states can't remove a presidential candidate from the public ballot. ballot. National candidate election qualifications are under federal jurisdiction and per the Constitution, not the state. Yes, Trump is on the ballot in every state and his electoral will win be a landslide. See, does that mean he will not? Oh man! Oh, someone says lock Fanny butt up and take her bar license. <laughs> all right, we're gonna end it right there, you guys. Uh, again, comment all what you guys think, man. Uh, again, I couldn't make I couldn't wait to to make this video. And I, I even got super excited when I seen uh, Doug uh, post because I was just going to make a separate video towards before even getting to Doug's video. But um, I know you guys really love uh, Doug's content as well as myself. So it's good how he breaks it down as well. But hey, we wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. Pay raises, salary upgrades, that your business does well. If you uh, guys own your own business, that... You get to live an amazing life, that your kids get to live an amazing life, that you have more happiness, more joy, more growth, more success in this very, very fast time travel that we live in, y'all. Pretty soon we'll all be dead and gone is what I want y'all to understand, man. You know, time goes by fast and things evolve, develop. I mean, it's just going to keep this thing is just going to keep spinning whether you like it or not. You know, so I'm wishing the best in all you guys life. Spread that love to one another because you never know what somebody's going through. And I will catch you beautiful patriots in the next one, man. We got a special coming up next. And boy, it's going to get real good, I tell you. Come to find out, Chicago is tired of Joe Biden's train wreck. So you make sure you don't miss that next video.